Well, back on the tropical scene after having Fred come through our region yesterday, it's over land and it still carries the name Fred, but it's not going to be something that will be tracked for future development. Unlike Grace, which has been scratching the surface of Jamaica today and Henri, which has been slowly drifting south of Bermuda. So we'll focus on these to show you the tracks for Grace since that one had a little early interest as far as its implications on the Florida forecast. But that was a couple days ago. More data coming in, high pressure building across our area. So that's going to deflect Grace and keep it more south. So more of a concern maybe for the Yucatan Peninsula, southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, not so much of a concern for the northern side of the Gulf, but it can be a hurricane in the Western Caribbean within the next 36 to 48 hours. And Henri will likely swirl around in the Western Atlantic, maybe tapping into some warmth from the Gulf Stream, perhaps. And it can also become a hurricane, but it stays offshore of the eastern U.S. coast. May roughen up the surf a bit by the weekend from the Carolinas northward, but no landfall is foreseen from Henri. Elsewhere, it's still a little extra quiet, especially in the Gulf compared to where we are and compared to yesterday, fairly settled. But in the open Atlantic, that's where we tend to monitor this time of year for more waves. And yes, there are a few that are emerging from the African continent, but they're not really showing much potential for extra development. There's actually a plume of dust and dry air that's coming off of the continent. So that can maybe give us a temporary reprieve from the frequency of storms emerging from those areas in the eastern Atlantic.